Hey YouTube! Matt here with Maple Mountain Fireplace. Hey, today we're going to be installing a builder grade 36 inch gas fireplace. So this is a B36 by Napoleon direct vent gas burning fireplace. Framing dimensions for this fireplace are 35 and a half inches wide and 35 inches high. So here we needed to trim it out about three quarters of an inch on each side to make the fireplace fit nice and snug. Now this is a zero clearance fireplace, meaning there's no clearance on the floor. This one is set on concrete, however you can put it on OSB. So set the unit in, get it centered, level it, and if you have to shim it, put some shims and secure it to the wall. So the next step is venting. Now you wanna know if you're venting it off the rear or the top. So in this case, we are switching the venting from rear venting to the top venting and all the components are included along with the instructions in the manual. Make sure you add that little insulation piece that will maintain the zero clearance properties of your fireplace. So this is your exhaust port. Make sure that little gasket is put on behind it as well. So measuring for venting, we've got roughly five feet high and about seven feet of horizontal. So you're about 12 feet total and about another foot for your elbow for the 90 degree bend, giving you about 13 feet. So we've got a five footer and a 10 footer that we're going to connect. So in the floor joist here, we are measuring for a center mark to cut out the wall. We've got a screw coming through the wall. We need a hole that is 11 and a half by nine and a half. And here we're cutting the stucco using a masonry blade. You don't have to cut it too deep, just enough to pry the stucco off. Using a reciprocating saw to cut the wood, get a nice clean cut in all the corners. And this is giving you the clearance you need for the venting. So here we're stretching out our flex venting. This is a 10 foot piece. And then we also have a five foot piece. So stretch the inner and then stretch the outer. And then you wanna leave the inner piece a little bit longer to be able to connect. Connecting the pipe, we have our connector pieces. They're two, two male ends. We use the mill pack to silicone it or seal it and screw it together and tape it. Do the same thing with the termination cap. You wanna get the sealer on the inside pipe. That's the four inch exhaust. Screw it with self-drilling screws and then put the outer piece on. Now we're gonna slide the flex in through the hole, coming through the floor joist and down onto the fireplace. All right, attaching the cap, real easy. Get it level, make sure you have your clearance and screw it to the wall. Same thing on the venting on the inside. Use the mill pack to seal the inside and then put the outer piece on. Maintain a one inch clearance on the bottom and we need a three inch clearance from the top when we're going horizontal. So this is why we're putting the straps in place to hold that three inches on the top clearance and one inch from the bottom. This is our sheet metal fire stop that goes in the very top portion, the eight foot level. This prevents any airflow from going up or down causing a chimney effect. All right guys, electrical. We are just hooking up the receptacle that is inside the fireplace. You want to do that in line with your other wall outlets, black, white, and the stripped wire is your ground wire or the green wire. Really basic stuff. If you need help, get some help with the electrical. This is your low voltage switch for turning the fireplace on and off. There's no power to that. It is a tiny millivolt that sends a signal to the valve. Please read the manual if you don't understand it. Hire an electrician, it's really easy, but you need to know this. 
After hooking up the power, now you can also install your blower. There are a few switches and also a rheostat, which is your dial to turn the blower speed up and down. The blower attaches to the side of the fireplace on the left, just behind the outlet. You can see the transformer here next to the drill. That is the power to the fireplace. This switch right here, this is your heat activated switch. So it only turns on when it's hot, allowing the blower to not blow cold air. And here is your rheostat dial. We're gonna get that hooked up to the bracket and attach it to the front of the fireplace. The little dial is the rheostat that turns the fan speed on and off. The silver switch right above it, that will turn your pilot light on or off. I recommend turning the pilot on in the winter time to preheat your exhaust system. There's your dial for the rheostat. The snap disc, that is the heat activated switch that attaches underneath. Make sure all of the wires are out of the way so the blower fan does not rub on the wires. All right, another disclaimer, the gas line. If you don't know what you're doing with a gas line, please get professional help. So here we are taking this leg off and we're gonna add a T and run a half inch flex line all the way to the fireplace. The valve that comes with the fireplace with the little red knob on off, we're gonna connect that to our gas line. And also we want to bleed out any air that's in the line. We ran about 50 feet. This is an unfinished basement. Run it through the floor joists and secure it where you need to secure it making sure there's no kinks, that your gas is gonna flow freely, and no leaks. Get everything tight, use plenty of pipe dope, and make sure you know how to put the connectors on your flex. Now, in a lot of states, you have to be certified to be able to do this installation. Home Depot and Lowe's does sell their own brand of flex line for gas pipe. You can also use black hard pipe. Do not use galvanized fittings. This will flake off and it will eventually plug up your valve in the fireplace and it will ruin your fireplace. So only use black pipe or stainless steel flex. All right, setting up the logs is real easy. You've got the large log on the back. You've got some of the little embers you wanna place near the ports. And there's a front log on the left and a front log on the right. And then also you have a top log on the left and a top log on the right. There are also some smaller log pieces or ember looking pieces for the very front. Once you've got your logs and embers in place, now you can put the glass on the front of the fireplace. So putting the glass on, you've got four little spring-loaded clips, two on the top, two on the bottom. Make sure everyone is secure. And now let's flip the switch. This is it, looks good. So here it is, the B36 by Napoleon. How to install. Um, this is a zero clearance, direct vent, gas fireplace. If if you got something out of it, give us a thumbs up, make a comment, and any questions, we'll answer them. Thanks so much for watching.